Hi, I'm Dr. Douglas Mann and I practice ear, nose and throat medicine on Cape Cod, Massachusetts. And I'm here today to show you how to use the Otovent kit for clearing your ears. Now some folks are able to clear their own ears simply by pinching their nose and puffing out their cheeks and getting air to go in the ear. But some folks just don't know how to do that. And that leads to a situation where they may have difficulty clearing the ears when, during descent in an airplane travel. Or they may wind up with fluid in their ears following an ear infection and can't clear it. So the Odovent helps you do that. This is the Odovent kit. It's a very simple little device, but it's brilliant. How it works is you simply have to get air into your nose while you're swallowing at the same time. We'll show you how that works. This is the Odovent kit, and this and a glass of water are all you need to do this procedure. The Odovent kit should be provided to you by your doctor. Inside, you will find two basic items. There is a white plastic device with a round end for your nose and a flat end for the balloons. And then there's a bunch of balloons, which you can reuse. Our assistant will put these two items together to get things started. All right, the process is easy. First thing you do is you blow up the balloon. Now I'll pinch the neck to hold the air in the balloon. Next thing to do is to take some water and put it in your mouth and hold the water there. Now take a breath, hold your breath. Put the round end of the Odovent into one nostril, close the other nostril, let the air start flowing, and swallow. <coughs> that little burpy sound you're going to hear, that's normal. How'd it go? Worked. Good. This is how the Odovent works. The problem is fluid trapped in the middle ear. Here is the middle ear where the fluid is. The fluid is blue in our example. Notice that the eardrum is sucked inwards, which we call retracted. This is the nasal chamber. Here is the eustachian tube, which connects the nasal chamber to the middle ear. This is the mouth, with the tongue at the bottom and the hard palate at the top. At the back of the mouth is a soft palate, which is down, but which will hinge up with swallowing, isolating the nasal chamber. Here you see that the balloon, already inflated with air, has been placed in one of the nostrils. The left hand pinches the neck of the balloon and the right closes the other nostril. For better visualization, we have eliminated the view of the right hand. First we have the patient put water in her mouth. Then the air is allowed to start flowing into her nostril. Then we ask her to swallow the water. This raises a soft palate, closing off the nasal chamber. As a result, the air flows into the eustachian tube and up into the middle ear causing the eardrum to bulge out. Once the swallowed water has gone down the throat and our patient is breathing again, the high pressure in the middle ear forces out some of the fluid from the middle ear. This process happens more slowly over a couple of hours. The eardrum returns to a more normal position as this occurs. Note that there is still some fluid in the middle ear, so the process will need to be repeated until the fluid is completely clear. This should be done every couple of hours. It may take a few days until all the fluid clears, by the way, don't worry about which hand or which nostril you use. It's all connected in the back and both ears will inflate each time. This is okay even if only one ear had fluid to begin with. So now you know what an Odovent kit is, and now you know how it works and why it works. I hope it works for you. Thanks for listening.